I'm George. <laughs> what is discrimination? According to Webster's Dictionary, discrimination is the practice of unfairly treating a person or a group of people differently than another person or group of people. Discrimination comes in many forms, whether it's gender, race, or age, to name a few. Discrimination has been shown to cause stress, according to the American Psychological Association, along with other physical and psychological issues. Has anyone here been discriminated against? Today I will tell you my story of discrimination. It's not your typical story of discrimination. In this story, I will tell you how a simple move from one department to another created chaos among the associates in, the, in that department. I will tell you how they discriminated against me based on my age, plus how I fought back to stand and to get them to work with me on my side. The story starts with a simple move and a simple decision by the store manager. He decided he needed a new manager for the plumbing department. He didn't pick me. I was a 20 year old, non-experienced plumber who puts me in a department with the rest of the associates that are in their mid thirties, if not older, and were all experienced plumbers. They were not happy. They did not want a baby as a supervisor. I could understand their point of view. I did not know the product. I was frustrated because of that. They were frustrated because their schedules, their reviews, and their merit increases were all based on decisions I would make. So I understood their frustration. My frustration was when customers would come up and ask me for stuff that I didn't know what it was. I had one customer ask me for a ball cock. I have another one ask me for nipples. I'm like, what is that? I didn't know the world of plumbing. And so they made it harder for me. They started the discrimination by simple little things. I'd go and ask them for help with certain products. They're like, you're the boss, you should know this. They come up to me and belittle me in front of customers going, oh, he's a kid, he doesn't know what he's talking about, let me show you what to do. The dis discrimination got stronger as time went by. They would purposely not do their job and do any tasks. I'd come in and have to run around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to do their job along with my job. At one point, the store manager walked my department and he was not happy. He started questioning my ability as a manager. I started doubting my ability as a manager. The other problem was that these associates, because of their age, they were friends with the assistant store managers and with the store manager. I felt alone, isolated. I didn't know who to talk to or who to go to. They did not have human resource in the store. So I decided I needed to do something. I could either stand up for myself or let them win. So I decided I'm going to have a department meeting. So one night we have a department meeting, we're all sitting around and I decide to stand up and say, okay, these are my expectations, these are my rules. At the same time, this other guy, Jim, stood up and he goes, oh look, the baby wants to give us rules and he starts sucking on his thumb. Everyone around me started laughing. I stood there not knowing what to do. For a few minutes, I was just silent. And I said, you know what? You're right, I am a baby, but you're playing in my playpen and you'll follow my rules. At that point, everyone stopped laughing at me and started laughing at him. I knew I had my foot in the door now. And so I told him, these are my expectations. These are my rules. Your reviews will be based on your sole performance. So with that conversation, they knew I meant business and they all, one by one, started working with me and started supporting me. At the beginning of the story, I was the bad guy in the eyes of these associates. They discriminated against me because I was younger than them and thought I didn't know what to do. I followed through and had a plan for them and got them to support me. Because of this event, I do not judge people by what they look like or what they have, but I judge them by what they can do for me and what they are on the inside. Thank you.